We present a novel technique for robust L1 optimal video stabilization that is particularly well suited for casually shot low quality internet video. Our technique computes the optimal camera path of a crop window constrained to be contained within the frame at all times. The stabilized video shown on the right is then obtained by simply applying the crop. Using L1 minimization of the first through third derivatives, the optimized camera path shown in blue is only composed of constant, linear, and parabolic segments conveying a viewing experience modeled after tripods, dollies, and transitions using ease in and out. We show examples demonstrating the ability of our algorithm to automatically determine and fit a tripod model if applicable. In this example, our L1 optimization smoothly approximates the jerky zoom frequently employed by casual video takers. In some cases, it is desirable to perform more than just video stabilization. For example, if we want to center the object of attention, here the dancing girl, in the middle of the frame, we can add an additional objective to our optimization to cover salient points. In this example, we apply a face detector to a few frames to obtain such salient points. Our result, with and without face constraint. Video stabilization pronounces blur as the lack of motion in the stabilized result does not agree with the visible blur. We apply the technique of Matsushita et al, but the result lacks temporal consistency and can only cope with small blur. While reliable blur removal is beyond the scope of this work, we can detect blur and introduce motion constraints, substituting motion for blur. The original on the left and our stabilized result on the right. Notice we obtain virtually the same result as Lou et al, avoiding the high cost of structure from motion. Here we compare to novel results of Lou et al, submitted to transactions on graphics. We obtain this result from the author's website. While structure from motion can produce good results, it is often unstable. Compared to Lou's new work, we better remove rolling shutter. In this example, we explore the effectiveness of our wobble removal technique. Without this wobble removal, rolling shutter artifacts are clearly visible. Using L1 estimation of per frame transforms from feature points, we can more robustly separate foreground and background motion. Here we compare to the light field approach of Smith et al. While their result requires a camera array of five cameras, ours only uses one. We can use a foreground motion saliency detector to obtain clusters of salient points, here shown in black. This enables us to focus on the action or perform video retargeting. Like pan and scan, our approach performs retargeting using motion and is, by design, free of spatial or temporal artifacts. Original on left and retargeted result on the right. Wang's result on the left, Rubenstein's in the middle, and ours on the right. We deliberately show first our retargeted result. Notice how we effectively tell the entire story at 50% of the screen space. This completes our retargeting section. To conclude, we show some challenging examples of casually shot YouTube fan cams.